this story started when my mom was a kid she was around 4 to 5 years old there were three siblings mom the youngest younger maternal uncle mama around 16 years old and the eldest brother was around 20 years old that time my grandi that is my maternal grandfather was professionally headmaster of a nearby school he was very strict about the study and all specifically for his children had no need to tell for grandchildren too even in our childhood he had scolded me and other cousin brothers sisters not for being attentive in study but anyway let's return back to the story one day grandy beaten his younger son mama very roughly due to his bad marks in the examination and in that night mama ran away from home now after one day of that incident police was informed but two days passed away three days passed away slowly one week two week passed away granny was initially shocked and very reluctant granny the maternal grandmother keep on crying and then became completely silent then after three months a letter came from the side of mama to granny saying that he has reached australia in those days the rule of passport visa was not so strict and cargo ships used to hire young guys for works like loading and unloading of the goods some other heavy physical work needed during the journey etc and our mama caught such a cargo ship departing from khidirpur dock kolkata and reached australia after reaching australia first he worked in a cycle repairing shop then as a waiter in a restaurant then he started his own food vegetable shop after few years he got married to an australian lady they had two sons but he never came back to india in the meantime in india grandy and granny expired unfortunately their elder son also diseased in a sudden road accident my mom gets married me and my sister started growing up mama used to send letters initially to granny and afterwards to my mom none else all the news from india was sent to him through letters as that was not the era of internet now the story took a turn in the year 1997 we got our telephone connection at our house not the mobile the landline phone after that my mom written a letter to mama informing the phone number after two week in the evening when our family were having dinner then a phone call came that was from mama eagerly he said that he is coming to india for meeting us that time even my mom doesn't have any real memories of mama as she have seen him last time when she was just a kid we only have some pictures of his childhood or some of his family in australia those he sent us by post we are surprised and excited at the same time he arrived our house at a fine morning he stayed with us for exactly 9 days he used to tell about his life in australia his wife was expired she was suffering from cancer mama couldn't arrange proper treatment of her in the last days probably due to the lack of financial strength but he loved his wife a lot that we could understand from his words both of his sons have grown up left him and got busy with their own life During the stay mama visited the nearby places of his old house unfortunately no one stay there at this moment but 
he used to stay with us most of the time he liked my sister a lot probably he was seeing my mom's childhood in her soon the last day of his stay has came we insisted him to stay with us for some more days but he refused and went back after reaching australia he called us from the airport to inform we again got busy with our daily lives i was in high school so was busy with my preparation of exam sister started her studies and singing school mom was also busy with the homemaking dad as you do as well started his office after two weeks another phone call came from the elder son of mama that was the first and last time he called us to inform that mama has expired his dead body was found at his house as he used to stay alone the exact date and time of death was unknown his neighbors informed his son suspecting the mishap now this news made us feel bound not only because he expired and we got the news over phone but due to the sequence of the incidents he left india at the age of 16 and never came back not even after parents death but suddenly he visited us just few days before his own death whether he understood that he doesn't have much days in his life so he thought to visit his relatives last time whether people who lived a fulfilled life can sense about final days whether his gloomy smile during last hand waving was meaning something else still i am answering for these questions now in 2013 my sister was getting married that time she wanted to connect with our australian brothers and inform them about her marriage we started to find them in social media but soon we realized that it's next to impossible we only have some childhood photos and their name even we were not sure whether they are using mama's surname or not we tried to mail and message some people of the same name but no luck happened whatever they are they are our own blood stay happy